Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I have a new knife to show you. Um, it is a Boker Trapper, but it is a Boker Tree brand Trapper. Now, this one is not one that's made in Germany. They say manufactured in Germany, okay? And uh, those words are pretty important because what they've done is outsourced parts from China and then manufactured them in Germany okay so all these parts are delivered to them in Germany assembled and then shipped so uh, the quality is not the same as a German made Boker but I'm still very happy with this knife I ended up getting a wonderful yellow trapper now this is not the 2.0 version the 2.0 version is a D2 steel version. I prefer uh, the 440 uh, steel version. I'm not sure if it's an A, B, or C, but it says on the Tang stamp that this is a high carbon blade. So here we have the Boker stamp, which is pretty light, okay, not very deep. And then we have the tree brand etching here. And then we have the high carbon stainless steel. So I'm guessing it's either a 440, 440B or 440C steel. I have found it to be absolutely wonderful to use. Now, was it sharp when I got it out of the box? No. Um, it would cut rope but it really needed a serious stropping. Um, when I got this out of the box, the blade edge was not that great. Um, I actually ended up taking this on a polishing wheel and polished out the edge a little bit and then stropped it out. Um, and, and it got it down to a really rough hair shaving sharp finish. Um, and I'm talking like it's barely shaving. So it will probably need to be sharpened in a few weeks, which is a little bit disappointing for a brand new knife. Now, overall, that's really the negative part. I really do like the knife, other than the fact it wasn't very sharp. So here is the main clip blade and the fit and finish on this, I have to say, is rather good. No gapping. The springs are pretty darn good. Not going to complain there. The clip blade is a little bit softer, but it still takes some pressure to actually close that. So I'm still very happy with this. The reason why I wanted the yellow bone is because I really like having a yellow trapper. Now I'm going to pull out a few here. So I have case trapper and then I have my frost cutlery white bone trapper and I find these knives to be very easy to find if you drop them or misplace them um, because the white bone or the yellow handles really seem to stand out against any other platform so let's do a quick size comparison since I have some knives out here so here it is against a 31 Sabenza. And then here it is against a standard 91 millimeter Victorinox. So it's a good size knife. I think it's a very good size knife. The trapper pattern is a classic and a lot of people enjoy it. Now, you may see some dark spots in this bone. That is not natural. Um, when I was cleaning this, I got some mineral oil on the bone, and that's just mineral oil that's gotten into the pores of the bone. Not a big problem for me. This has really just been in my pocket with loose change and my keys, and I'm really trying to really use it and see what it can do under a little bit of abuse. So um, this is one of my newest acquisitions, and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing it. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.